Hi, my name's Chris and today I'm going to be reviewing the Takina 11-16mm f2.8 lens as you see me unboxing right now. This is a really popular ultra wide angle lens for filmmakers as it has quite low distortion and a fast f2.8 aperture throughout its tiny zoom range. A lot of stills photographers like this lens too because it offers really good picture quality which I'll show you later. It comes with a lens hood and cap as you see here. And what I want to show you is that this lens is really nicely made. It's pretty heavy and it feels like a lot of it is made of metal. It feels really sturdy. As you can see here the zoom ring is really nice and smooth. This lens is designed for cropped sensor cameras, which means it will work on most digital SLR cameras like my Canon 60D. But the cool thing is, you can also use it on a full frame camera if you set it to 15 or 16mm. Here you can see the focus swing. You have to click it into autofocus or manual mode. It's a bit clunky and it takes getting used to, but it does work real smooth, good for filmmaking. The autofocus is a little noisy, but it's quick. The focal range isn't long anyway, so why bother getting an ultra wide angle lens? Well, here's some footage of a chapel with my Canon kit lens. It's set at 18mm which is as wide as you can go with a kit lens. It's hard to get the whole room in a picture. The aperture is set to f3.5 which is as wide as it gets with the kit lens and the ISO is 800. And now here's the Tokina lens at 11mm. As you can see you can get so much more image into the frame. And the Tokina goes down to f2.8 so I only needed an ISO of 400 so the image is cleaner. This lens is fantastic to use in any indoor space from bedrooms to cathedrals. This lens is also well known for being sharp. Here it is at 11mm and at f2.8. As you can see the centre is nice and sharp. As we move to the corners though, things aren't quite so great and there's certainly some chromatic aberration. Stopping down to f4 improves things quite a lot though. Here's the lens at 16mm and f2.8. Again, it's nice and sharp and in the corners and at f4. I like this lens a lot and I've managed to get some great pictures with it. The quality of the bokeh isn't very nice but it's not terrible either. The fast f2.8 aperture is really useful but my copy of this lens has a terrible back focus issue when I autofocus so it has to go back to Tokina which is a real pain. If you buy this lens, make sure you get a warranty. But on the whole, it's great, especially if you're filmmaking. <laughs>